What's going on everybody, SLB coming at you with another toy review. This time we'll be taking a look at Hasbro's Masterpiece Prowl. This is a great vehicle mold. Vehicle form, vehicle mode, mold, whatever you want to call it. This is awesome. I really do like this mold. Um, they used this mold, Takara used this mold for Prowl, for Blue Streak, Silver Streak, and Smoke Screen. Minus the uh, sirens up here. But this mold is awesome. It's a, it's a representative... Eh, dog hair. Look at that. Uh, this is a representation of the Nissan Datsun, I believe it's called. Yeah, the Nissan Datsun. Uh, this is officially licensed by Nissan. So Nissan said, okay, do it. Go ahead. We'll give you permission. So it's great that they... You know, it's always good when the actual car manufacturers say, okay, do it. That way you don't get like this rehash, gnarly looking thing. But this was really good. Um, minor complaints. You do have clear windows here, so you can see the insides of it. You know, inside the back and inside the front and all that. But other than that, my only th that's the only complaint I have with the vehicle mode. It's just a great mold. It looks really nice. The white really stands out with the black, the two-tone color. The red siren, the clear... Sirens at the top there look really good. The little, you know, side mirrors here. The Autobot sticker in the front here with a little Nissan symbol right there. Looks great. Is that really? Can you really see it? Can you make it out to be Nissan? Yeah, you can kind of make it out to be Nissan. Uh, the Highway Patrol decal over here with the, you know, the uh, uh, door. I'm really having a brain fart right now. The door handle right there. The gas cap right there, you know, you got the painted on windshield wiper in the back here, as long as two molded windshield wipers in the front here, which look really good. Don't hinder the transformation at all. Unfortunately, underneath you do get some robot kibble, some, you can see the arms, you can see the hips and the part of the legs, and if you flip this up a little bit, you can see the head, which isn't that big a deal. You're not going to be displaying him like you're in a, you know, oil change place, you know. You're going to be looking at them like that, mostly, and that's awesome. Like I said, uh, not a lot to the vehicle. It does roll really nice. It's a good rolling back and forth. Plastic wheels, unfortunately, but nice painted rims for the tires, I should say. On the back, you get some a mock license plate right there. Some painted on, you know, a little raised, but painted rear lights right here and again everything is just awesome um but that's um unfortunately you can't store the gun in vehicle mode there's only one way you can store it you can't store it underneath to make it look like exhaust because look he's already got something right here for exhaust so if you look at the back of the sign right there you got that little hole and you take the Take the gun, which is a really nice gun, I should say. I mean, looking at this gun, it's a really nice, you know, homage to the G1 cartoon of the gun he used. Um, but to, to uh, uh, have it so that Prowl can hold on to the gun in vehicle mode, you just take the handle here and flip it up like that, which is really nice. I really like how tight this is. That way it's not all, you know, flop around and everything like that. But you take it, you just flip it up like that. So it's got that little hook piece, and then you just pop it into the back like that, and there you go. He can store his weapon in vehicle mode. Um, but that's it for, you know, for the vehicle mode. It's a car. You know, no gimmicks, no nothing. Uh, for scale comparisons, here he is with MP Takara's MP21 Bumble, which is a nice... Uh, scale getting them side to side and all that look they look really nice together They're really good i really do dig them um little height comparison there there he is with that next to each other looks really good uh and here he is with the holy grail himself scaling with mp10 optimus prime which looks awesome scales perfectly just amazingly scales with MP10 here himself. 
Uh, one more quick comparison because I have to because it's now mandatory. Here he is with Lego Vision. I don't care about the <laughs> uh, Captain America. Lego Vision. All the way, baby. Uh, so that's it for vehicle mode. Let's get this guy in robot mode and eh, see how he is in robot mode. Okay, well, here is MP Prowl, Masterpiece Prowl, in his robot form, and this is where I have issues. Maybe it's just mine. I don't know. I like the idea what they did up here in the torso area. My nitpick parts are at the feet. You can tell I'm having issues with mine. Because he does not like to stand up. He's got a serious issue of back hollow, of hollow legs back here with this just bizarre transformation of how you get it and how these things are supposed to stand is they're supposed to stand on this post right here but he leans forward I mean you can have it to where like this section you know is on this section which looks which you know he stands up pretty well you know on his own he's he, this joint right here on mine is loose it might just need some tightening right there um, but like I said, this is just my figure. Now, for the feet, not a fan. Just, I mean, good, you know, movement in there, you know, got some nice foot articulation. But aside from loose joints and all that, and the hollowness from back here, just emptiness, I'm not a fan. I don't, not one of their great, you know, robot forms. Now, going up to the torso section, the head sculpt is amazing. The head sculpt is really nice. I mean, I don't know if you can get that really well, but that head sculpt is just amazing. Um, these little laser things, I can never remember if Prowl had his up or not. Um, the doors are displayed nicely. Uh, He's mistransformed in mine for simple purposes. When I pick, the, you're supposed to be able to pick this section up and peg it, and there's two pegs right here that peg into these slots right here. Mine doesn't reach, and it's because of these. I don't know if you can see it, but the 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 rear view mirrors on the side of the car they're supposed to fold up into this chest cavity right here, and they're on double hinges, and mine don't seem to want to. Uh, bend all the way and there's two little slots in the chest in the underneath the head here that it's supposed to you know they're supposed to fit in there perfectly and you're supposed to be able to clip this down and then you're supposed to be able to pick this back section up and plug it in there but mine doesn't do that for some reason so I just kind of collapse it a little bit better in there now the arms it's another issue well it's not really an issue they're not really locked in place here they're very tight it's a very tight joint right here and you can get some arm articulation out of it nice you know double there's a ball joint here and a nice you know swivel right here which is fine you know but like I said maybe this is just mine this is just me nitpicking um, I just I just don't think I think they could have done a little bit of a better job, Hasbro. Now, maybe I'll get the Takar version. Maybe the Takar version will be different. The joints will be tighter. Everything will fold up better. I'm just scared if I keep you know, messing with these panels right here in the back here, I'm going to wear the paint off. And I don't want to do that. So that's why I just keep it folded up like that. Or you can take these little, yeah, collapse these lasers and just tuck them underneath there. Like so, and there. I think that looks incredible. I think that looks good. Um, articulation, uh, take two. Articulation wise, head is on my. This head is on a really tight ball joint right here. Like I said, the arms up and down, ball joint, nice range of moment, bicep swivel, uh, bend at the elbow and another bend at the forearm there because that's just due to transformation uh fingers are all molded together really mine are really tight too 
Um, they're all they're all one single mold, so you can't do any single finger articulation. A waist swivel here was pretty much for transformation purposes, but legs can go out about that much, back about that much. These skirt pieces, you know, can move so you can get a nice judo kick. Judo kick. Um, over 90 degree bend at the knee. And like I said, foot articulation is wonky. It's really bizarre on mine. I've looked at the instructions numerous times to try to get it to the best possible standing point, and that's all I got. Um, for comparison, here he is next to MP21 Lambor, which is you know one of my favorites, and they scale they scale really good together. I mean, they're about the same head height wise in the head. They just look great together. You know these two. Um, I really dig it. The 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 scale. It's just I wish mine was a little better. That's just it. Um, taking Lambor out of the equation, here he is next to three and three quarter inch Marvel Universe Captain America because America. That's why. Uh, <laughs> they did a crossover. Read the comic. Um, and here he is next to Lego Vision, because it's mandatory now. I have to do it in every video. You will see Lego Vision in every single video. Suffer. Deal with it. Um, sorry, hit the camera. Just moving the camera this way now. So that's it for that. Nitpicks aside, it's a decent. It's a decent figure. It's a decent mold. Um, Maybe I'll try to figure something out to get it to work better, but for right now, that's, if you can tell, he's kind of leaning a little wonky, you know, like he's got scoliosis in his back or something, I don't know. Um, but let me know what you guys think, leave a comment in that comment section below, right over here somewhere, or maybe over here, depending on how you're viewing it. Um, hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Uh, say hello to my new sponsors, primetoys.net. Give them a quick view on their website. Buy something from them. You know, help everybody out, helping everybody out. Um, share the love, like I used, like I say. Um, questions, comments, personal problems, you know where to find me. This is SLB saying, my childhood hates me. There's my thumb right there. There are my thumbs. My thumbs. My thumbs. My thumbs.